I don't think I'd be surprising pretty much anyone by saying that cash flow is difficult to come by these days. But there are still many great areas in the US that offer strong cash flow potential for investors. And in today's video, I am going to show you a brand new interactive map that I created that shows the rent to price ratio for almost every zip code in the US. It's entirely free for you. The link is below in the description. And I really think it's going to help any investors out there identify good areas to look for cash flowing properties. What's going on, everyone? Good to be back with you all. I am super excited about today's show because I'm going to share something with you I have been hoping to make for a very long time, and it's finally here. Before I get into that, if you appreciate the news and data-focused content I cover every single week, please make sure to subscribe to the Bigger Pockets YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at the Data Deli to get more great information to power your investing decisions. All right, let's get into today's topic, where in the US to find great cash flow. I'm going to get to the map I made, but first, I want to talk about why cash flow is difficult to come by right now. Since about 2011, housing prices have been rising faster than rent. And this makes cash flow harder to find because when prices go up, the monthly cost of your mortgage, which is probably your biggest expense, also goes up. So if on a national level, your biggest expense is just rising across the board, mortgage payments are going up and cash flow is going to be harder to find. In the graph below, you can see that the rent to price ratio, which is a great proxy for cash flow, and I'll explain more in just a second, has been on a decline for many years now. Rest assured, this is not in your head. Cash flow is actually measurably becoming more difficult to find on a national level. Now, to measure cash flow prospects on a macro level, on the national level like I'm doing now, I like to use a metric called the rent to price ratio, which is also shorthand known as RTP. And RTP is super easy to calculate. All you need to do is divide monthly rent by the purchase price of a property and you get RTP. Super easy. You can do this equation for a single deal by just taking the rent for this house and dividing it by the property value. Or as I'm going to do in the remainder of this video, you can actually do this for an entire market. But instead of taking you know, the rent for a specific deal, you take the median rent for the area and then you take the median home price for that area and that gives you the RTP or rent to price ratio for that entire area. And RTP is highly correlated with cash flow. And in general, the higher the RTP of a deal or a market, the better cash flow potential there is. And I say potential here on purpose. So this is important. There, there are other factors that impact cash flow other than RTP, but we use it because it's a good way to quickly analyze the potential of a given deal or a given market. For example, you may have heard of the 1% rule. And that is based off our RTP. If RTP is above 1%, it is generally thought of as a great deal. But personally, you may have heard this before in some of the other content I put out. I think people generally put too much stock in the 1% rule. I think they treat it as dogma when it's really just a rule of thumb. And personally, I think any market that has an RTP of over 0.7% is worthy of consideration. Doesn't have to be over 1%, anything 0.7% or above, worthy of consideration, at least at a macro level. And I say this because in the market level analysis, we're using averages. We're taking the median rent and the median home price. But by rule, when we do this, when we look at averages, it means there are values both above the median and below the median. If you put it another way, if the average RTP in a market is 0.8%, that means there are going to be deals that are better than 0.8%, and there are also going to be deals that are worse than 0.8%. So it's your job as the investor, you have to go out there and find not just a good market by looking at the map I'm going to show you, but you also have to find a great deal within your market. So take that all into account when you look at the map I'm going to show you in just a minute. And I'm going to start getting this pulled up. And while I'm getting it loaded, remember that you can download this map or you don't download it, you can just use it on biggerpockets.com entirely for free. There's a link in the description below. So definitely go check that out. There's absolutely no reason not to. Uh, so here's what we got. Um, this is the map of the entire United States. And as you can see, we have 
color coding for almost every zip code in the US. And unfortunately, we don't have every single zip code because in a lot of markets, there's just not sufficient rent data, not sufficient pricing data for us to feel confident about the RTP score. So anything where there wasn't going to be enough data, we've removed it. But luckily, there there's a ton of data. And for pretty much every major metro in most cities, we're going to have values for pretty much everything. So using this map, as you can see, you can look pretty much anywhere in the U.S. and you'll be able to quickly identify which areas and which zip codes in a particular area has a strong RTP. And so just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to zoom in on one of the hottest markets in the country right now, which is Houston. And you can see Houston is right here. You can see my mouse. Um, it's right in this area. You can always tell where there's a metro area on these maps based on where the zip codes get a lot smaller and there's this higher concentration. And so Houston, like most metro areas, is going to have areas that are really low cash flow areas. Usually in the downtown, for example, it's going to be a lower cash flow potential. But as you can see from this map, there are areas that there have really good cash flow potential. So if I click around here, I can see that this zip code here, 77026, has a rent to price ratio of 1.44%. And listen, I don't know that much about that particular zip code, but that's your job as the investor is to go and use this map. So you can now say that that zip code I was just clicking on has very strong cash flow potential. Again, that does not mean every deal in that market will have great cash flow. It does not mean that other markets don't have good cash flow. But if I were looking into Houston and cash flow and finding cash flowing properties was my number one priority, I would start by examining these dark, these green zip codes first, because when I see them, I see 1.4%, I see 1.44%, I see 1.32%, all good RTPs. Remember that 1% rule says that if it's over 1%, you are looking at a very strong cash flow potential market. But if you go into the downtown area, you see that our our RTP, these orange blocks are going to come in a lot lower. So we see orange is 0 0.48, 0 0.48 again, uh, or 0.35, excuse me. So hopefully you can see how useful this is, because if you are an investor looking to invest in Houston, you can look at this entire map and say this area, I would say it's like north, northeast Houston. There is some amazing data here. Is not going to is going to be a great market to look at for cash flow. However, the markets above here, maybe these are expensive suburbs. I don't really know anything about them. These are dark red, so we're seeing cash flow rent to price ratio here of 06 percent, point eight percent. That's obviously not what you're going to want as an investor. Um, but hopefully, no matter what market you're in, you can use this map to learn more about where you can find great cash flow. And now I should just say that this is uh, a brand new thing that we're trying to do. This type of interactive data is new for bigger pockets. It's something I've been wanting to do honestly for years and it's finally here, uh, but this is just the beginning. We're gonna be starting to roll out new visualizations. We're gonna try and make these tools even more interactive, more useful. We're gonna add more data to it. So definitely make sure to stay tuned both to this YouTube channel and to biggerpockets.com because this type of data is super important and helpful to anyone who wants to be a real estate investor. And we're offering it all for free to you at biggerpockets.com. So definitely make sure to check that out. Okay, that's it for me this week. Please go check out the map. I'd love to hear your, in, uh, your input on the comments, either on the blog post here or here on YouTube. We'd love to learn how we can make this data even more useful to you. My name is Dave Meyer for Bigger Pockets and the Data Deli, and I will see you all next week. Thanks. Thanks.